per the ever-credible Bloomberg, Boeing is reportedly readying to resume deliveries to Chinese customers for the 737 MAX, after more than four years without this taking place. If completed, this would be a substantial moment for the 737 MAX. During what can be described as the early stages of the crisis for the series, which did see deliveries suspended, China was one of the first to ground the aircraft, as you may recall. And yes, they received a lot of criticism for being the first to pull the plug, but turns out they were making the right decision. They also would stop taking delivery of the plane. However, while airlines and regulators around the globe many years later were eventually clearing the 737 MAX to, one, fly in their country, but two, also see deliveries resume, China certainly remained bullish on allowing customers to acquire new units. As such, deliveries have remained suspended for now four years, which, when you think about it, is a staggering length of time, considering how long the initial 737 MAX crisis went on to eventual rectification, and then how much longer we've been waiting for these deliveries to actually resume to Chinese customers. It is a significant period, and when you squeeze in the pandemic that's happened in between, a lot has gone on through the years. The implications of suspended deliveries to China have certainly changed the program trajectory so much so that Boeing has been looking to ship units that were, say, initially destined for Chinese customers elsewhere. This is to not only ease their backlog, but actually deliver aircraft that, say, have either been built, are almost built, or are about to, to customers that are willing to accept the type. There's no point in having 500 aircraft sitting in the side waiting to be delivered to China when there is so much uncertainty on when that was ever going to resume. This is not something that's just happened with Boeing. It is something that typically does happen within the aviation industry. Take a look at Aeroflot's situation in Russia. Yes, they were expected to welcome in next generation planes, but given the sanctions, they can't do that. So Airbus A350s, initially destined to head there, are headed elsewhere to carriers that can actually welcome the series on. Sources with Bloomberg report that the preparation process is now well underway and handovers could occur for the aircraft in the coming weeks, although this is very much subject to change, as I'm sure you can imagine, with something potentially happening at the last minute to set back the resumption. The 737 MAX's presence within China is something I also wanted to discuss, because it isn't small and is slated to be pretty significant, with countless customers awaiting units. So it isn't like Boeing are only waiting to deliver to, say, one airline in China for 20 units. No, there is a substantial amount. And seeming they've been unable to deliver since 2019, well, it's slowed down airline growth and also replacement plans. And no doubt for these Chinese airlines that are now emerging from the pandemic, well, they could probably utilize an aircraft like the MAX. China Southern, Shemin, Air China, and more per Sirium data are all set to be some of the largest operators of the MAX within China, assuming all units are eventually delivered. This is pretty big news for Boeing, so I'd love to hear your thoughts down below in the comments, as well as maybe a cheeky prediction on the exact date or week when you believe deliveries will once more recommence after what I have to repeat is more than four years without this taking place. To think it's been four years since 2019 is scary enough, but to think it's also been four years since a Max was delivered to China is something else that is pretty insane to think about. Thanks a lot for watching, take care and be safe, and I'll see you next time. Time. And we'll fly.